right, so we're going live in three, two, and we are live. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. My name is Jonathan Jackson, and today I have with me uh, co-founder of W3 Develops, uh, Elliot Sanford. We have Bishop Lake and Kyle Guerrero, and these are like the top-notch developers of W3 Develops that are helping put everything together. So I thought I would invite them today to join us as we go through startup school and answer a few questions for the weekly update. So question number one is, are we launched? No, we are not launched. Weeks till launch. Um, Kyle, let me ask you a question. How long do you estimate that it would take to get the application for the um, for the sorting application for the study groups up and running? What do you think, like a guesstimate? Once development actually starts and after research over Express and Postgres and some testing, version one would probably be launched in three to four weeks for the sorting application. The actual website revamp and refactoring would be done within the next couple of weeks where it gets a complete facelift and remodel. Uh, so four, four weeks? Uh, estimate? Rough estimate? Four weeks rough estimate after research and testing development. Okay. All right. Awesome. So users, prospective users talk to this week. So I've talked to, I've talked to about about five or six users this week. I'll make it seven. Let's say seven users this week. Elliot, how many uh, members have you spoken to this week? I'm counting. Um, probably about four. So we have 11, good. What have we learned from them? Okay, well, I actually have a quite, uh, probably just post what, uh, somebody that left us some feedback. Yeah, yeah. Louise. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, this, yeah is that, name. this is real name, Louise. Okay. Actually, Louise is the, my main person that gives me probably the best feedback of anybody. Yeah. Um, like, uh, his feedback to me is, um, uh, don't jump around, like be focused on one thing and, and see that thing through to completion. Like, I think, um, that's, um, I guess, feedback for everybody in our study group, um, because our main focus is, uh, completing the full stack open react course. And, uh, a lot of yeah, my, myself included, we tend to like jump around and like, oh, I want to learn like MongoDB this week, or oh, I want to learn, uh, uh, you know, I want to go back and look at CSS Flexbox this week, or oh, I want to go chase this rabbit trail, you know, and uh, we never really make progress. But uh, I think of everybody in the full stack open React course, he's the furthest along. I think he's in like, part four where the majority of us are in like part two or um, part three. So uh, he's kind of like put his money where his mouth is because nice. uh, he, uh, he like walks the walk and backs up what he's saying because he actually does it. Whereas everybody else kind of just jumps around and uh, gets lost in uh, other things, uh, you know, but um, he's been pretty consistent and, his work rate. So I've learned a lot from him in that regard, just being focused on a task and um, not allowing yourself to get deviated and chase rabbit trails. Nice. Yeah, that's great. That's uh, that's really good. Yeah, dude, the rabbit trails can definitely whew, lead you down the wrong hole. <laughs> Sometimes, man, take a lot of time out. Um, yeah, it's always good to be around people like that, man. For real. 
Um, side note, how far along in React are you guys at the moment? Uh, I'm still in part two of the full stack open course, but. Um, are you asking all of us? What's that? Yeah, where are you guys at too? No, I was asking him, but how, yeah, I, like I, I'm curious as to where you guys are at too. I, um, you guys are in I would say I'm about a month and a half into React. Wow. I believe, yeah. I'm into a couple of days of React where we've made React functional components and have started using React hooks and have also started passing around state and props uh, throughout different components. Yeah, so I've actually built out a hosted uh, hosted group site for Build Week uh, with just React uh, for the front end on a art portfolio sharing website, Instagram clone. So nice, dude. All right, let's see. So the next question, what are your top one to three goals for the next week? This is a good question. So let's see, goal number one. Elliot, what, what, what are some goals? What, what do you think uh, your top goal for W3 Develops would be for the next week? um in our study group um am i muted oh no i'm good okay um i would say um try to increase the attendance of our daily stand-up uh we've kind of had some people fall off the wagon so i need to uh just check in with those people see how they're doing um so i'd probably say that's my highest priority is just uh check in with those people who were pretty regular in our stand-up and uh just see how they're doing for instance there was one girl she's a part of kinsey academy and uh her grandfather or no one of her grandparents passed away and uh, i haven't heard from her since the funeral which was um. saturday but uh, I was going to check in with her to see how she's doing just as, you know, just like as a person to person, like just how she's yeah. doing, you know, Definitely. But, uh, like her highest priority right now is her boot camp. But uh, I'm just, you know, just curious how she's doing. Um, and among, a couple, among a couple other people, but yeah, mainly her, just see how she's doing. Mm -hmm. all right tamari what's up bro so we have our other co-founder so we have the whole team here today we have tamari mr tamari tensley here good to have you brother so you already know elliot elliot's here today um and Kyle and Bishop, these are our, these are gentlemen that are freaking awesome that are helping us build um, the, they're, they're helping us build the entire website over. And you know, the website isn't that big right now, but after we get done rebuilding it and refactoring the code, we're gonna be able to finally, I'm, I'm gonna start finally adding more pages and um, we're getting rid of the bootstrap. And these are the W3 develops developers, community developers at the moment. So these are the official devs for W3 Develops right now, dude. Just if you didn't know. Um, Tamari, let me ask you this. What do you think uh, top, uh, let, me, let me ask uh, uh, Bishop and Kyle, what do you guys think uh, for the development, what do you think the top goal is? Refactoring the landing page and getting that up and running by midweek next week at the latest, hopefully. And then also changing over all of the JavaScript uh, once we're done refactoring that, making those into functional components inside of vanilla JavaScript.
Thank you. Okay, let's see. You said functional objects? Functional components. I might have said objects, but uh, functional components. Okay. I think that's what you said, dude. Components, thank you. Um, yeah. Let's see. Oh, for me, it's, <laughs> it's getting this deal with Lambda. Uh, so how would I say that uh, cementing? All right, cementing the partnership Lambda School, uh, Lambda School Coding Bootcamp and helping students to prepare for that. What most improved our primary metric? Our biggest obstacle. Okay. Uh, I would say the morale is a 10. I'm really excited. Would you like to participate in a group session? Yes. What time works for you? What's a good time for you guys for the group session? Uh, I think this week I can do, I could do an 8 p.m. Um, okay. Samari, what about you? Or oh, wait a minute, what time is that? That's uh, 8 p.m. New York Central. time is? That's uh, 7 for you. Okay. Um, yeah, I could, I could probably do that time. Are you sure? What other options do we have? We have until 11 p.m. Uh, EST. So 11 is 10 for you. Then we have 9, 8. Oh, and then they have a... They have 3 p.m. too, which is way earlier. 
I can do 3 p.m. Um, could we do uh, could we do 9 p.m.? Yeah, let's do nine. That's a uh, eight year time. Tomorrow, yeah. uh, tomorrow, are you good with that? What is that my time? Um, it's three hours, uh, so it's five p.m. Um, yeah, that works for me. Oh, oh wait a minute, nine p.m. Eastern. That's six p.m. Uh, yeah, six p.m. I was wrong. Yeah, six works. I'm Pacific time. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, so we're gonna submit that. Nope. Let me uh, let me just look over it right quick, dude. That <laughs> the week's till launch went way down. <laughs> okay. Oh, Tamari, have you spoken to any prospective users this week? Um, no. No. Okay. No. Yeah, you misspelled receive in the uh learned from them went to receive oh it's e before i i before e except after c oh that's how i had it <laughs> what except it? except after c oh i before e except after c oh my gosh r e c e i v e it looks so wrong <laughs> Thanks for that catch though. Um, so I think, uh, let's see. I think that's it. I think that's, uh, that's it for the day. And we're gonna end this. Oh, dude, before we end it, I just want to show you guys, bro. I'm so happy. Like our post was our, my forum post was at the top of the list at the top of the, uh, at the top of the top of the featured list or whatever for like the entire week, I guess they changed their algorithm, but it's still got like the most views, the most comments. That was at 37. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. And then nice. the other one, dude, check out how many people have like responded to this. They, Why did they know. move it down? Is it just like most recent responses? I mean, it shouldn't be like that, but I think they, they got tired of seeing me at the top. So they were like, yo, son, yo, son, he's been at the top for too long. We got to change the algorithm. Yeah, it's kind of wild that you're like right <laughs> next to some like zeros and yeah. you have 32 responses. It's all right though. But dude, yeah, we have 147 responses on this one, bro. Like it's pretty cool. Um, the first one is if you are a technical person willing to help a startup by being their co-founder, leave your info because I kept seeing that everywhere. So I figured I would make that post and like mad people, a ton of people just came out and nice. Yeah. Responded to that. And then what is your company solving? You know, there wasn't anything for this. So I just made this too. And 147 people responded to this. So I'm happy nice. about that. Yeah. I'm actually it's a good launch pad there. It really is. Um, so that's it for today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop this share. And before we end, is there anything that anybody would like to point out or say, mention? Anything? Devs, anything? Uh, it's nice to meet you other guys. Uh, sorry I hadn't been uh, been on any Zoom chats with you, uh, Bishop and Kyle, but uh, it's nice to finally uh, meet you, even if it's remotely. Uh, I appreciate you guys working on the algorithm and scripting app. And um, if there's any way that I can be of any help, let me know. Um, I'm, uh, I still probably am more of a, a project manager and scrum master than I am really a React developer at this point, but um, I'm growing in my skills and um, I'm still probably like a junior developer, uh, like very junior, uh, but uh, I'm here to help if I can. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been as engaged with you guys in the, the scripting side of it. I've just been, uh, I guess, just got like a tiger by the tail in terms of like this group and like keeping the lightning in a bottle uh, that side of it. So, um, but, um, it's cool, dude. 
your work is uh, really vital to this organization doing what it does. So we, we appreciate you. Yeah, sure. dude, thanks for letting them know, man, for real. Like, I'm happy to hear that from you too, bro, because, like, it is the truth, bro. Like, big, huge, 100% big O. 